All righty, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Uh, had a customer that wanted to uh, make sure his SWR and Calibrate working on his radio. And uh, this is a uh, video for beginners wanting to uh, know how to check their SWR. We won't go in depth about what SWR is, just how to check it with different devices. First, we're going to start off with the radio. Bear with me. First, we're going to put it on the CAL, C-A-L. All right, calibrate. Then you're, want, you're going to want to key your mic. Hold the key. And turn your SWR CAL to the indicator on the meter. All right. Right there, there. Right. While you're still keyed, flip it up to SWR. And as you see, we have a flat SWR reading. Okay. Next is on this little meter right here, a Rode Pro. This is also a 10 watt and 100 watt meter, power meter. All right, we'll put it on the uh, SWR scale, which is already on. Okay, and we'll flip it over to forward we'll keep the mic and adjust this meter till the needle is all the way to set right there then we will flip it to reverse as you see flat SWR okay and to use this as a watt meter, you flip it over to power. You got the 10 watt scale or the 100 watt scale. 10 watt scale, we'll just do a dead key. It's kind of hard to see it, but uh, indicates about a 1 watt dead key. Two. <laughs> flip it over to 100. This radio is doing about 30 watts. Oh, uh, and it's uh, right there at about the fourth. So it ain't super accurate, but just, you know, enough to get you in the ball ballpark. So it's showing about 40 watts for this radio. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, a little bit under the four. Actually, it's about accurate. It's right there in between the four and the two. So it's showing about 30 watts. Sorry, it's not. Uh, there we go. I'm going to show it to you again. We're reading the scale down here at the very bottom of the top where it says 2468. Uh, yeah. So, you know, right there before the four. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just use that as kind of a reference. Okay. Now let's go over to the Sysnatic 700. Shut SWR. Put it in forward set. Key the mic knob right here, which is SWR. Turn it to us all the way at the at the set at the end, right there. Okay. While you're still keyed, come up here and turn it one notch down to reflect. And see it drop down to virtually nothing. Alrighty. On to a bird meter. A bird meter is not going to show you an SWR reading, but an SWR reading is just the ratio of your reflected watts due to a mismatch. So on a bird meter, going into the, your inputs on the left, outputs on the right, turn your element or your slug pointing to the left towards the input to show your reflected watts. I will key up an audio to see what my reflected watts is. Audio. Audio. Absolutely nothing. So that's how you tell your reflective watts with a bird meter. Alrighty, so we showed one, two, three, four things of how to read SWR. If you're checking SWR in a mobile vehicle, 
make sure to be far as possible away from any other vehicles or any metal objects, even as far away from trees if you're able to. But mainly get away from any metal objects, water, anything. Try to get in a wide open area as much as you can to have an accurate SWR or reflect reading. Any, any of those uh, uh, things can, uh, can alter the reading. Uh, me, myself, I have a little place I can drive to that's pretty much right in the middle of a field. And that's wherever I go if I'm ever needing to tune something or whatever. So there's some uh, simple ways to check SWR. I know me personally, without videos like this, I would have never learned how to check my SWR as quick as I did. Because that's how I learned, checking out a YouTube video. Have a good one, Mr. Gatekeeper, 1883, about five years into the hobby. Already uh, doing some great things. I'm really loving the hobby. So good luck, you newcomers in the CB radio hobby. Bye-bye-bye.